here's another uh, very, very good question. According to Nielsen, the disability market is worth $1 trillion. I don't know if that's true, but I'm gonna assume it is. At panels like this about gender inclusion, often race and sexual orientation are brought up as important too. But what would it take for disability inclusion to be part of the conversation? Um, can, you, can, can you talk a little bit about that, Rachel? Sure. Um, as all of us have been talking about, uh, it all starts with story. So I think it really is about um, bringing in those who are disabled into the room as creators and starting from that place and, it, and raising that issue. I mean, it, it is definitely something that um, is touched upon in certain rooms that I've been in, but it has not been a focus. And it's a really great question and something we should all be looking towards. Mm -hmm. I also think with what's been in the news the last week about mental health issues, if people were more cognizant of that, and, and even in the writer's room, like bring up, okay, I know someone who's suffering from depression. I know someone who tried to commit suicide. Like to have those discussions in the, and not to be ashamed to have them and bring them into the stories would be helpful. But even on a film like Baby Driver, we had a character who was deaf. And we did have that Hollywood studio conversation for one minute, like, well, who should play this actor? And, and should we have uh, you know, this movie star or this movie star play it? And our filmmaker said, it's really important to me that it's authentic and that it's played by a deaf person. And he's like, the performance will be more true and it, 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 it will be, bring a, a depth to the film. And we supported him mm -hmm. it, it, when he said mm -hmm. it, there was no question. And we found a wonderful actor. And actually when we test screened and when we did a table read, uh, we had uh, uh, um, people doing sign language and made sure that he was felt 100% comfortable and supported by the production. And when we did test screenings, the audience loved that character. Right. And so the studio learned from supporting authenticity and, and leaning into diversity that, that that was a great choice. I think that's a great, mm -hmm. a, a great lesson for everybody, a really, a really genial 